In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a bootable Windows 7 DVD disc. Now you may have already purchased your Windows 7 from Windows Marketplace and you've uh, downloaded your files. Okay, these are setup one dot box and there's uh, also a setup two dot box and a utility that unpacks them. These are the files that you download. So you may have purchased it here and just downloaded it. That means you haven't got a CD. Now you're going to need to create a CD and this is what this video is about. Um, they used to charge you for shipping out a CD um, but they seem to have wavered that now and you can actually do it for free but if you have actually got the files and you want to create a CD I'm going to show you how to do it, I keep saying CD, I should say DVD really because it is an actual DVD disc but you get the general idea now you're going to need also a file called OSC DIMG now you will be able to get that from this link here, I'll put it in my description or on the forum, you can download it from there okay you may be asking what this is it's a pre-mastering utility okay um, it's part of the Windows uh, automated installation kit which is part of uh, Windows PE you can see all the commands that it uses here we're going to be using the uh, dash H here which includes hidden files and directories also uh, dash M which ignores maximum size and so on so you can see what's going on and by coming to this site and read up about what the switches mean and what you what you can do with it okay you do need to put this into your system 32 directory okay so what we're going to do is I've already put mine in there but I'll just show you, you go to Windows and then system 32 it's pretty straightforward and then right click and then paste into this directory okay now it's already in there so let's get started so I'm going to go to my C root directory now I've created a folder called Win7 and this is where all my setup uh, one dot box file is and setup two dot box file and the utility. What I'm going to do is click on this and this will unpack these files. Now you'll see it create a folder called expanded uh, setup. This is where all the Windows files will be going inside there. Okay, So we'll just let this un unpack uh, and then we'll carry on once this is completed. Okay so that's uh, unpacked now as you can see and it's all in inside here. We can shut this down, we don't need this, this is what starts automatically we don't need that and inside there it's got all our files which are the same as on a CD basically so now it's unpacked those we need to burn these to our um, CD but we need to create an ISO image first and this is where that program comes in that pre-mastering utility so what we're going to do now is close this off and then we're going to go to start and then put in our CMD now what you want to do is right click this and run as administrator ok then click yes and this opens up our little box here so what we want to do from there is start putting our command in so first off I want to do cd backslash um, and that will take us to our c root directory and then we'll clear the screen and start off with our code ok so the first thing you want to do is type in oscdimg.exe. I'll try and do it slow so you can actually see what's going on. So osc uh, dimg, sorry, .exe. Uh, and then from there we want to do space uh, dash b and then c um, colon backslash and then win7, which is the folder where all them files are and then backslash and then expanded setup that's the folder where all the Windows files are that we need to use okay and then backslash boot and that's another folder that's inside there with part of the Windows folder and then backslash that and then uh, etfs uh, boot.com okay and then space and then we want to do a dash u2 and then space dash h which is for the hidden files and then dash m which is going to be for the maximum ignore the maximum size and then dash and we want l which is for label and then obviously we want to make our label so I'm going to be calling it win underscore uh, en for English and then underscore dvd and then space and then we want c uh, colon backslash then win 7 again and then backslash and expanded uh, setup again so expanded setup like so 
and then backslash and then space C colon and this is where we're going to be just putting the name of our ISO image so I'm going to keep it simple nice win 7 dot ISO so now we've got that done what we need to do now is push enter and this will start creating our ISO image so I'm going to push enter there and you can see it um, starting to compile our ISO image this will take a bit of time so I shall pause the screen at this stage until it's finished okay it's nearly there now as you can see 99% okay that's done so what we can do now is close this off and go to our C root directory and there you can see our ISO image that's been created okay now obviously you're going to need to burn this ISO image to actually um, want to burn it to a CD there's numerous different software that you can use for this um, one simple one is a free piece of software called uh, CD burner XP uh, it's a free piece of software we need to do uh, as you can see it's recognized it in this program that's created its own icon so you just click on that burn ISO image okay click OK and then it opens up your which CD burner you want to use okay so if you wanted to use this or this okay then all you need to do is put your disk in at that stage and then basically push burn disk and that will be it you're pretty much good to go you should have uh, a nice DVD bootable Windows 7 DVD disk okay so I hope this has been some use to you what I'll do is um, I'll open up this forum place for us so we can actually go bright tech computers uh, there we go get on the forums here and I'll put all the links and stuff inside here okay um, it'll be in the Windows 7 part I'll stick it in here and if you want to get yourself over here and register by all means do so it's free to register and I'll put all the details and links in here for you okay and try and write a tutorial up for it as well as a video so you can see it all okay so I hope it's been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy my videos remember please show your support and hit that subscribe button and rate for all my videos if you've got any comments there stick them up there and I'll do my best to answer them for you um, and that's about it any requests for videos either post them on the uh, forum there and I'll do my best to try and make those videos for you like I did for this guy so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now